Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical H shape. So let's begin with the code. Here in the output we can see stars in different row and column. So to do this we need for loop and here we can see the first for loop. Here row is a variable and here we are using range function. In the output we can see 7 rows that's why I'll mention 7 here. So here range is from 0 to 7 that means it will give output as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 alright and inside that for loop we are using another for loop it is to print stars in the column and here call is the variable and here also we are using range function. And in the output we can see 5 columns that's why I'll mention 5 here. Now inside this for loop we are using if else conditional statement. We need to print stars in some particular pattern for that we need a condition that's why we are using conditional statements. Here in the if statement I need to mention the condition that is in which row and column I want to print star. So for that first we'll check for the column and here in the column 0 and column 4 we can see the stars. In each row we want star at the column 0 and column 4. So I'll write like this column is equal to 0 or column is equal to 4. When the control is in column 0 or column 4 we want to print star. Here I used logical OR operator. In the logical OR operator if any one of the condition is true then it will give the output as true. So if any one of this condition is true it will print star. Okay this is my two condition. Next we are done with the column now we will concentrate on the rows and here we can see at the row 3 we need to print star but we already wrote condition for these two stars now we need to concentrate on these three stars so for that we need to check column should be greater than 0 and less than 4 so my next condition will be r and i'll check whether row is equal to equal to 3 if it is true then that time column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4 okay this is my another condition where we are checking whether row is equal to 3 if it is true then this must be true okay that's why i used logical and here in the case of logical and if both the inputs are true then only output is true. So to print star if this condition is true this must be true. So this is my condition first we are checking whether column is equal to 0 if it is true I want to print star or if column is equal to 4 I want to print star or if row is equal to 3 then that time column should be greater than 0 and less than 4. If it is true then we want to print star so here colon and inside that if statement that is if condition become true then I want to print star so here we can see print star and end equal to empty string this is because in the prints default value of end will be slash n but in our program after printing one star I want another star immediately after that I don't want any space or new line between them. That's why I'm using end is equal to empty string here. Okay. And if this condition becomes false, then control goes to the else part and it will print space. This is because here we want to print space, right? If this condition become false then it will go to the else part and it will print space. After that inside the first for loop we are using print. This is for new line that is after printing stars in one row 
we want to print next star in the next line for that we are using this okay now we are done with our code so we'll save this and run this and here we can see the output that is stars in the h shape okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care